Um, and I just find it so fascinating, the journey that some of these songs go on. I mean, you said it. I think the best songs in Nashville find their way. Some of them just take a little bit more time than others to yeah. find the right voice and the right artist to deliver it. I mean, are there any other songs between the three of you that you just keep coming back to because there's something special mm -hmm. about them where you're like, this one took long to find that person or had a similarly crazy journey? Well, it's know? hard because, and actually it's a testament to you and to your manager that it didn't matter that it mm -hmm. had been passed over. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's yeah. rare. Mm -hmm. I mean, usually an artist can talk themselves out of it because if mm -hmm. they're like, well, if Kenny Chesney didn't want it yeah, then or if this person that? didn't want it. So the fact that you knew all that and were still connected to yeah. it, I think is, uh, and you're a songwriter yourself, you don't have to cut outside songs. Exactly. I think that's really cool. I mean, I certainly have songs that I feel like are just, I mean, I think all yeah, my songs should be cut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll send them my way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but there are yeah. that handful that you're just like, that one is, yeah, what, that, happened, what that? happened to yeah. that one? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's ones that get cut that you're kind of yeah. like surprised that that's the one. Out yeah. of all of them. Yeah. Right. yeah. right. That's so interesting. Do you ever, when that happens, are you ever like, well, maybe I should cut it? Or are you, I mean, you're an, you were an artist in your own I think, right I've too. been thinking about that a lot lately. I yeah. mean, I don't want to go back out on the road or do the whole radio thing, but I have been thinking about what y'all should do is, um, is just making a record of my own of songs that I love that didn't get cut, yeah. you know? Mm. And then you never know. I mean, you know, it's somebody like might hear them and go, <laughs> I want, how come you didn't send me that one? You know, yeah. but, I'm doing it. I mean, oh, you are I am. I'm, I mean, I'm in the middle right. of it. Bye. Get out of here. You already <laughs> came up with that idea? <laughs> I mean, I don't think we were the first. I remember <laughs> I remember when Jeffrey Steele put out a record and it had like, it was called Gold, Platinum, and Steel, mm -hmm. oh, which I wow. thought was so yeah. clever. <laughs> and even just the title of that, I've always thought that was such a good that idea. That is a good and idea. And he, he cut some hits, but I think he also mm -hmm. cut some songs that hadn't been recorded. Yeah. And yeah, um, favorite. yeah, I was going to make my album maybe called Two Country. Yeah. Like Two, <laughs> two Country to get to yeah. get cut yeah. or get played on, you know, like kind of like, like, I, like Ashley and I wrote the song, I Lived It, which we thought yeah. never in a million years mm -hmm. will anybody record wow. this. It's Two Country, Too Slow, yeah. really? you know, but uh, mm -hmm. I would like to make an album that had those type songs on it, you know, that just kind of been sitting around. But um, mm. I think our, I mean, because of the trend, in country music, I mean, I don't, I don't think people have heard our best songs. Mm -hmm. And I gotta, honestly, I'm not just saying this, I really think that about these two guys because they are known for the sort of um, up-tempo mm -hmm. party songs that, you know, are these monster hits and the trend on radio right now. And I've written, the other kind of songs with them. Sure. And this song is one of the other kind mm. of songs and we're lucky that right. you recorded it. It's not of the moment mm. uh, in Nashville to record a ballad that breaks your heart. And sometimes they get through, mm. yeah. but you know, I've used Ashley as an example a lot because I don't think people really get the depth of what he does. Mm. Um, not to say, I mean, certainly they've had the success to say otherwise, but yeah. I just, I've, I've had a few quirkier songs recorded. I've been lucky in mm -hmm. that way. And I think it is because I've worked with so many females and females tend to take more chances, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. on, yeah. on ballads or on story yeah. songs. Yeah. But uh, I'm not sure where I was going with that. I think it was just that I think that a song like this getting recorded says a lot, but there are so many others. So when you ask about, are there songs of ours that are, are sort of left on the table? I think it's hard to get these kind of songs recorded yeah. or songs that tell a story. I mean, that's just not where we're at. Mm -hmm. You know, in the 90s, there was a whole oh, yeah. three Heartbreak. minute journey, yeah. you know, yeah. but nobody wants to wait three minutes <laughs> yeah. for the payoff. I want to wait for the yeah. 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 one minute. Yeah. We got to get to it. Man, and, in my opinion, that's what hit me about this song is the journey that it takes you on. And I hope we, I think there are artists that are doing that, but I hope we get even more back to it because that's the reason I fell in love with country music is the stories and how it just pulls you into this journey. And we were talking about it just a bit ago, just like, um, how specific you get with the details, it almost makes it more universal. 
As yeah. crazy as that sounds, I don't well, know if you guys true. feel that. I do. I feel like when you try to please everybody in a song, you're like, well, we should. I want to say this, but maybe I shouldn't because right. that section mm. of the listener might not like it. Yes. Then you just, re- I just think that you're not being honest at that point. Just yeah. write it, write your story. Yeah. That's exactly That's right. right. You know, yeah. you know, when I was 10, 12 years old, I didn't know anything about love or falling in love or yeah. falling out of love. But you know what my favorite songs were? Those songs. Yeah. I didn't know anything about them, <laughs> right. but I felt the truth of them coming out of the speaker. Ooh, you know? You're exactly right. I was the same way. I mean, growing up listening to Carrie Underwood and Shania Twain and all these heartbreak songs. At, like you said, 10, 12. Mm-hmm. Never been heartbroken before. But you but felt I, there. Yeah, yeah. You can put yourself in that place. 